Hi, Granberry First. My name is Joe Bowles. I'm the current chairman of the Mission Alignment Council. I hope my message finds you safe and doing well. Doing well these days might mean you have plenty of hand sanitizer, plenty of paper towels, lots of tissue, and a good mask. Well, as we share in dealing with this virus and related issues, I also think since you're watching this message, we also share in the love of Jesus Christ. My wife Susan and I have considered recently, how do people deal with times like this, with uncertainty, without Jesus Christ in their lives? Many of us are confined to our homes and have extra time on our hands. And I realize there's people watching this message saying extra time, homeschooling three kids, two full-time jobs, and we still have to cook meals. Boy, I feel for you. And we're praying for you. But as we do have that time at home, I'd like to consider a couple of things. One, whose are we? We are children of Jesus Christ, and we all share in that. He will deliver us from all obstacles, too. Psalm 34, 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers them out of all. Granberry First members, we must remember we are unified. Even if we aren't together, we are unified in the name of God. Secondly, I'd like us to take some time to consider who we are. Not as individuals in a church, but people united in Jesus Christ. That unity is our calling to make disciples of Jesus Christ. While we can't worship together in person, we can continue spreading the good news. And has there ever been a better time to ask an attendant at a drive through at a restaurant or ask a grocery worker or ask a nurse, can we pray for you? Can I pray for you? Every day they go to work with the concern of this virus and the people they face. It's a good time to offer our prayers. I think when you ask someone if you can pray for them, you may be surprised at the reaction. And I also think you may be surprised at the warmth you feel in your heart. We're all of Jesus Christ. We all are asked to be disciples. That's who we are. Prayer is a very powerful medicine. And we have the obligation to prescribe it to those who don't know Jesus Christ. That's who we are. I know soon we will congregate again in our church. In the meantime, I think we include the church, certainly its leaders, and all of its members in our prayers. Until then, we will stay unified and know whose we are, Jesus Christ, and know who we are, disciples of Jesus Christ. God bless us all.